Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm currently just getting myself ready this morning. I'm up bright and early. I've used this lip balm this morning and I've not used this in such a long time. I've been using the Bobbi Brown lip balm recently and I've been loving that but this is an old favourite. It is the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in the shade Orgasm. This used to be all I ever wore on my lips. And I'm not going to lie, I did forget how much I loved it. So I've just put that on my lips this morning as I am getting ready. Because I have a very, very exciting day today. I am really looking forward to it because I am actually heading into London for a bit of a girly day. I'm meeting up with my friend Shloka, who I literally have not seen in such a long time. You guys would have met her... Maybe at Christmas time, I think. But she is just the biggest sweetheart. I'll leave her YouTube and her Instagram down below. I actually persuaded her to start a YouTube channel this year, which is so exciting. And she talks all about like luxury, fashion, like really high end pieces. And she's just the biggest sweetheart in the world. And I actually have not seen her since I got engaged, which is just insane. But we've both been here, there, everywhere. And you know, and your schedule just have not been lining up. So we finally managed to get a date in the diary to be able to see each other, meet up and have a little bit of an engagement celebration. I feel like we're gonna tie this in with my birthday as well. It's like a birthday, engagement, girly celebration day. I'm really, really looking forward to it. We're going to Kensington. I think we might have a little walk around the Kensington Gardens and go for lunch, do a little bit of girly shopping. It's going to be a really, really, good day and speaking of engagement celebrations i actually had this insane delivery arrive last night like, can you even see the size of this and as you can see it actually says on it a little gift for you ellie it is a personalized gift from katie loxton who actually got in touch after seeing the engagement announcement and very very kindly offered to send me some goodies from their bridal collection and katie loxton is a brand that i absolutely adore i've mainly used them for like luggage and kind of um like travel bags and things like that i haven't actually looked into their bridal kind of collections before but it's really exciting that i can now start looking into their other collections with regards to like my bridesmaids whether it's just wedding guests whether it's for myself they have so many gorgeous like wedding and bridal pieces so they sent over a few bits and i thought we could unbox it together because i'm so so excited to see what we've got in here oh my goodness i'm gonna start with the cutest little piece this is just absolutely adorable it's this gorgeous like champagne -y, silvery clutch bag and can you see what is written on there it says bride oh my goodness this is just the cutest thing in the world so you can keep like keepsakes in it if you want to just have a clutch bag that maybe like your bridesmaid carries around for you for your wedding day if you want to put in like tissues or your phone or anything like that this is just the cutest thing ever. I feel like this would make such a lovely gift for someone as well. And I just love the fact that it says a bride on it. They do actually have a few other ones. They've got like bridesmaid, maid of honor, mother of the bride. And I just think it's so, it's so lovely. I love this kind of like champagne. It's not quite a silver. It's not quite a gold. It's just like a really, really beautiful iridescent clutch bag. I am so, so in love with this. I just think it's the cutest thing ever. That would make such a lovely gift. And it says bride on it. Oh, that's making me emotional. <laughs> They also have a couple of other different clutch bags. So this one's like a slightly different material. It's a little bit softer and it's a bit more of like a goldy material. And as I said, you can actually get like bridesmaid, you can get bride, you can get mother of the bride. You can also get them monogrammed and personalized. I think this is such a nice idea to do with your bridesmaids. Maybe when you go on your hen or something like that, you can either get their names written onto it. You can get their like initials monogrammed. I think it's so, so lovely. This one's slightly different because this has actually got this really gorgeous little pearl detail on the zip, which I really, really like like and as I said it's a little bit softer so I feel like this would be really good oh my goodness I've just noticed as well that they actually have like a little a little message on the inside that says thank you for helping me tie the knot that is absolutely adorable this would make the perfect gift for anyone that's helping you with your wedding that's getting involved whether that's your bridesmaids maid of honor whether it's just the girls that are coming to your hen party some of your wedding guests I think that's just the cutest thing we've then got this clutch bag which is quite different from the others it's absolutely beautiful it's just like lovely white 
light faux leather which i really really like and it's just got the little katie loxton branding on it i don't think you can get this one personalized but i will leave it linked down below but it's a little bit bigger in size i feel like this would make a really great just like handbag organizer especially like for your wedding day or for your hen or anything like that it's so so gorgeous you can put in your makeup or your lipstick or anything like your keys and stuff like that that is so so gorgeous i think that's great actually if you're just going for a hen and you just want something to like chuck under your arm as well i'm so in love with that and the final pouch to show you is this absolutely gorgeous monogrammed pouch i don't know how well you're going to be able to see it but it's so so beautiful they do this in a couple of different colorways but i love the lightest taupey white colorway i feel like it just feels very very bridal and i really really love how like the size of it it's just like a really nice size whether it's for travel documents whether it's for i don't know like your passport whether it's for when you're going away on your hen i feel like this would be so so lovely to get matching for your friends you could literally do like all of these ones you could do all of these ones i just think it's so nice to do that and make it a little bit more personalized whenever you are going away for your hen so i just thought that was another really really gorgeous one i just love the monogramming on it it's so beautiful i feel like it's not too like gauche it's not too in your face it's just really lovely and subtle and speaking of monogramming the last thing i wanted to show you from katie loxton is this absolutely beautiful tote bag i mean look at this it's the same kind of monogramming but it's a little bit darker but kind of show you the difference this is like very much white and this is a bit more like taupey but i love the way that they pair together i'm definitely going to use this on the inside of this bag but it's a really really gorgeous tote bag this is going to be a great going into london bag actually i think this is so so beautiful it's quite big let me kind of show you the size of it like you can fit in a lot in that tote bag and i love the fact that it's again monogrammed beautifully but it's not like heavily logoed or branded like the only way that you can kind of tell that it's katie loxton is the really subtle logo at the top so i really really like that but i can't believe that how big this bag is it's like way bigger than i was expecting this might be the perfect bag to take into london with me today i love the fact that it also has a little tag which again you can get personalized love the fact that katie loxton just have so many options when it comes to monogramming and personalization this might be another lovely one if you're going away on a hen to like fill with goodies for your girls you can fill it with like pouches lipstick makeup if you've maybe got like a theme or something like that like a cowboy theme chuck a cowboy hat in there put like a sash to say that you're part of the hen weekend i just think there are so many options and i really really love this i just think it's so so beautiful so some really really lovely gifts from katie Loxton just to kind of show you a better idea of the size of the bag it's like a perfect laptop work bag which i really really like it just sits so beautifully on your shoulder i feel like if i didn't have so much stuff to take with me into london today i would definitely go for this one but i'm actually going for a different katie loxton bag this morning because we're going to be doing a couple of photos so i've got this one with me and as you can see i'm using my little hat holder which i just absolutely adore it's got the monogrammed e on it and i love it so much but this katie loxton bag i absolutely absolutely adore this is like a perfect weekend uh, overnight bag i really really love this and again it is monograms which is just my favorite thing in the world i feel like it's so nice when you can get something a little bit more personalized although i have had a few people message me saying that my initials are going to be changing soon it obviously still will be ellie may but of course it will become ellie may par now which i'm so so excited about but um yeah really love this one so this is my pack that i'm going to be taking with me into london it's going to be really heavy i'm probably going to kill my shoulder but it's fine <laughs> I am, however, going to take this one with me. This is just like the perfect little pouch to put in your handbag, especially if you've got such a big bag like this. I always like to have spare um, hairbands or perfume or lipstick or anything like that with me. So I've just filled that and I really, really love how the monogramming looks. I feel like it's just so perfect for like everyday use. Obviously, the other pouches are a little bit more um, bridal, a little bit more party. This is so perfect for everyday, so I can take that with me. And you guys know what I'm like when it comes to engagement celebrations. It literally has become a subconscious thing now. I just can't help myself but I always want to be wearing white so I've got this gorgeous little forever new dress on today which I really really love it's such a lovely length I love the fact that it's this kind of like mid axi length because it's nice and covered but it's still nice and lightweight and breathable love the tiered detail to the skirt it's just like really lovely and elongating on my body and the fact that it's long sleeve but like sheer means it's going to be really nice and cool because it is quite a warm day today and I do find whenever I'm in London in summer it just feels a little bit more like sticky than summer does in 
the country here in the UK. I feel like somewhere in the country in the UK, it's really nice and like airy. It's bright, it's light, but it's breezy and lovely. Summer in London is sticky. So I'm really hoping that this is going to be the correct outfit choice. Just nice and breathable and lightweight. It does actually come with a belt, but I've taken it off because I feel like it doesn't really need it. The fact that it has the cinched in waist anyway is so beautiful and so flattering. And I've just paired it with my little June slides. I love the June slides. They're just so comfortable, a great Hermes dupe. And I love the fact that they're this kind of like white rattan, which I think is so, so lovely. Of course, paired with my Katie Loxton bag. And then I've just gone for minimal jewelry. I've got my watch from Alex for my birthday, my Pandora jewelry, and of course the engagement ring because Shloka has not seen it yet. So really excited for a girly catch up in London full of engagement slash birthday celebrations. I think it's going to be such a lovely day. So I've just made it into the station this morning. I've actually given myself plenty of time this morning. So I might go and grab a coffee before I need to catch my train, which is always lovely. Always love being early, but there was something that I realized I forgot to tell you yesterday. And I thought before I head in, I would tell you this story because oh my goodness me, to say I'm traumatized is literally an understatement. Um, so the other day I was making the bed in the morning and I always have, you know, there's like little throw pillows on the bed and I always just like put them on the floor in the evening and then put them back on the bed um, the next morning whenever I make the bed. And I was making the bed, put the pillows on and I just like noticed something on the pillow and I was like, oh, what's that? Turn my head and literally let off the biggest scream I think I have ever done. Now for context, it's quite an old house that we live in. Like it's obviously not, you know, that old compared to most houses. It's quite standard for like a UK, especially down at South Home. Um, I think it's like a 1920s house. I think it's about 100 years old now. So it's quite a spidery house. And I'm not really scared of spiders, especially like little ones, especially out in our decking. We have so, so many. Like our um, garden furniture does get quite cobbled webby because they all live in the little cracks in the um the decking they don't really bother me i just kind of clean the cobwebs and get on with my day this spider was a literal arachnus deathicus like i'm not even joking he was this big like literally that big so i screamed and bless alex he was in the shower so he obviously thought i'd like hurt myself he thought there was something really really wrong so he jumps out the shower comes and running through like what's happened what's happened and i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god look at the pillow look at the pillow and he was like what what's going on maybe thinking there's like blood on the pillow no no it was just a spider but genuinely it was the biggest spider i think i've ever seen and he just turned to me and he was like are you actually kidding me but like you know when it literally like ugh, makes you feel like gives you the heebie-jeebies because the main thing i kept saying to him is what if i hadn't spotted it this morning and it crawled into our bed ugh, i literally i'm getting i'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it because imagine if we got into bed that night last night and it was there oh and also the thing that i'm like how did it get in our bedroom because it's literally up on the second floor like we don't really have the windows open in there a huge amount i don't understand how it got in there so now i'm getting freaked out that there is going to be loads more of them so i keep every time i like pick something up off the floor or like get a blanket or a pillow i'm just like is there a spider is there a spider oh it literally was just the worst thing that has ever ever happened to me i'm not even joking like it was still gives me the heebie-jeebies thinking about it now and yeah it's like more than 24 hours later so um yeah i forgot to tell you about that yesterday but it really was just one of those moments where you're just like oh you just don't know what to do like you freeze i literally scream and like jump back and just froze and i'm so glad alex is always so like good and calm under pressure i always say he would have been a really good paramedic because he's so calm he's always so like right okay let's do this like bless me jumped out of the shower to save me so um yeah that made me laugh i'm not gonna lie this morning when i was making the bed he was like any spiders this morning I was like, don't even start um but yes i made it into the station now i think i'm gonna go and grab myself a coffee maybe a little cheeky little croissant before heading into london but it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day the sun is shining there's a little bit of a breeze so hopefully it's not going to be too hot in central but yeah i'm really looking forward to it so let's get going Hi. oh you look so pretty i love this outfit we've already, we've already been stopped in the street to ask <laughs> for where your jacket is from it's so cute can you give us a full outfit of the day because i, I really can. love this okay well, i'm gonna put this one down because <laughs> that is not mine all right so i'm wearing this jacket which love is horrible love this little matching tweed set it's so cute is, it's very chanel thank you it's from mosh i love it and then i have my vintage chanel oh these, these are, are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and my sunglasses are in the spec love them what i got journey it looks so pretty i love it it's been so nice already the second you saw me you're like show me the ring i know <laughs> i feel like it's been nice as well 
hard to not have seen you for a while because I feel like it's almost like the magic's worn off. Like everyone's seen the ring now, so it's so nice to see people that still haven't seen. Yeah, the and ring. then I'm like, I want to hear the story. <laughs> I want to hear the whole thing. I'm so excited. So we've just arrived. We've never actually been here before. We're in Kensington. We've arrived so at the Italian pretty. Gardens, and look how gorgeous it is. So we're gonna go and find the cafe somewhere. Apparently, there's a cafe around here. Yeah. Grab a drink and have a proper catch up. I'm not gonna lie, I always forget just quite how much background noise there is whenever I come into London. So I do apologize if it's a little bit noisy. I feel like I'm just far too used to the quiet countryside lifestyle down in Hampshire. But we had the loveliest morning. So, so lovely to see Shloka and have a proper good old catch up. The Kensington, Kensington Italian Gardens, I think they're called. It's absolutely beautiful. Like it's just so tranquil. They've got little like fountains. There's loads of people having like, coffees, going for walks, walking their dogs. It was so, so lovely. Lovely, and it was really nice to have a proper catch up, tell her the story. She gushed over the room, which was so, so sweet. And it was just really, really lovely to see her. She has been here, there, and everywhere since I last saw her. She's been in Paris, India a couple of times. So, um, yeah, it was a well, well overdue catch up. I've just said goodbye to her now after the loveliest morning. I think I might go and have a little bit of a wander down Oxford Circus through Oxford Street because you guys know I can't come into London and not head to Selfridges. It's just my favorite place to have a little bit of a browse, see what's new in, and have a little bit of a shop. So I think I'm going to spend the afternoon having a little bit of a wander around Oxford Circus. Beyonce song that's like I am going to see my husband I'm happy I'm happy I always think of that when I make myself a coffee I'm like I'm going to get my coffee I'm happy I'm happy to get my coffee <laughs> 
but good morning everyone it is the next day now and as you can see i am very happy to be having an iced coffee this morning i'm also happy because the sun is shining and i'm not gonna lie we actually had a bit of an overcast day yesterday in london which was such a shame because it was a beautiful sunshine down here in hampshire i feel like they do call it sunny hampshire for a reason because it was blue skies so bright so sunny and the second i got into london it's a little bit gray and a little bit overcast but didn't matter, we still had the loveliest day. Shloka and I literally put the world to rights. Yesterday we just sat, had a coffee, we split a little cinnamon bun and just caught up on literally the last like two months of our lives because it has been so, so long since we last saw each other and she has been to Paris, she's been to India twice, like she has been here, there and everywhere. So it was really, really lovely to catch up. I made her promise as well that next time we see each other, she brings her gorgeous little dog Alfie because he is literally the cutest thing in the world but it was so lovely to be able to show her the ring and catch up and just have a really really lovely morning and then oh the street was actually not as busy as I thought it was going to be it was quite nice so I managed to have a little bit of a peruse and a wonder and I'm not going to lie to you guys I may have picked up a few bits for myself I actually went a little bit mad in Selfridges Beauty. I feel like it's been a really, really long time since I actually picked anything up from Selfridges Beauty, but I really do love their beauty haul, especially when it's not busy. It's just so lovely to be able to like have a chat with the girls at the counter, have a little wonder, like try things out in person because you know when you buy things online, you can't really like swatch it or try it or test it. So I went a little bit nuts in Selfridges. I also picked up some fashion bits. I popped into the John Lewis on Oxford Street and I'm not gonna lie, I still stand by my statement that the Southampton John Lewis is the best John Lewis in the world, I'm going to say. It's literally the best John Lewis in the world. I just feel like it's so bright and airy and like things are really well kind of like situated. So it's really nice to have a wander around that John Lewis and I really wanted to in particular have a little look at phase eight because they have so many gorgeous dresses in at the moment that I wanted to have a little bit of a look in person and just make sure that I was like picking up the right sizes. As well, I also popped into Zara and they do actually have, which is really exciting. Let me grab it out for you because I am really debating whether to pick up the white version of these trousers you would have seen that i literally made a beeline for them when i popped into zara but these gorgeous linen trousers i got these last year and i absolutely love them they've got this really cool like pattern detailing and they do actually have them in this really really gorgeous like off-white kind of ecru color with like a bit of like a navy blue pattern on them and i love how they look and i do find because these are green because they're very colored and very kind of like out there i don't reach for them as much so i'm really debating whether to pick up the white ones instead from zara but um yeah very exciting that they have brought back something literally the following year because zara don't often do that but i really really love it when brands do that when they know that something's been really popular and they bring it back and speaking of that actually honestly i have so many things here to show you that are like old pieces that have come back in stock and i really love it when brands do that because it means i'm able to show you items sorry i'm literally talking to you whilst i'm over here but i'm able to show you items that obviously i've had in my wardrobe for a little while and i can still link them because i hate it i hate it when i show you old things and i can't find anything even like remotely similar to link for you guys because i know how upsetting it is it's part of the reason why i was so excited when i discovered this forever new dress if you watched my little forever new haul on sunday you would have seen i also unboxed this dress as well as the dress i wore yesterday it was not intentional to be wearing two forever new dresses in today's video but um this one is basically like an update version of the mango dress that I've had for such a long time so I love it when I can discover and like update things in my wardrobe and they've actually on phase eight brought back this dress you guys might remember this I actually wore both of these items the Zara trousers and this dress in Croatia last year is that a sign do I need to book another holiday to Croatia <laughs> Anyway, it's this really, really gorgeous little off the shoulder kind of like asymmetric dress with this little tie detail at the top. And I really love this dress because it's like bodycon, but not like tight bodycon. It just sits so, so beautifully on your figure. So I'm very excited about the fact that Phase 8 have brought this back. I saw it in John Lewis yesterday and was like, oh my goodness, I need to get that back out of my wardrobe and get my wear out of that again this year. But let me show you what I picked up from Selfridges Beauty because as I said, I went a little bit nuts in Selfridges selfridges beauty and i basically was inspired to go over to this counter after rediscovering the lip balm that i was wearing yesterday the gorgeous nars lip butter in the shade orgasm absolutely loved that so it kind of reminded me how much i loved it i went wandering over to nars and i spotted 
the NARS skincare. Now this is something that I have seen online and actually have not tried out myself, but I was super, super intrigued, especially by the packaging. I love the fact that it's like completely different from like the NARS beauty packaging in the sense of it's like the reverse of it. The NARS beauty packaging is obviously the black with the white writing and this is like white with the black writing. And I really love to like minimal and beautiful it looked and I really wanted to give it a go. So I was really, really intrigued when I saw it. And this is something that Oh, I just loved the smell of when I tried it. It was the NARS Skin Light Reflecting Moisturiser. Now, the Light Reflecting range is a range from NARS that I've tried in their foundation before, and I absolutely loved it. It's like a really, really beautiful, perfecting, glowy foundation. It's not too heavy coverage, but it is buildable. And I thought it might be a really, really nice idea to try out the skincare. So the moisturiser is just like a really lightweight. Let me do that again, actually, because I was kind of doing it as I was chatting. It's a really lightweight gel, which I really like for a day cream. I personally don't like anything too heavy on my skin for the day. And I just really loved the kind of feel of it. And I'm really excited to see how this is going to do with regards to that kind of like airbrushing look that the foundation gives. So I feel like especially paired together, I think they might create a really, really beautiful flawless dewy finish and then also added into that is the light reflecting firming serum now i did want to try a new serum i've been loving the ysl two chocolat for such a long time i just wanted to try something a little bit different now this does look very very similar to the two chocolat i think it's very similar in consistency and very similar with regards to the results that it gives so if you're looking for something new you've loved the two chocolat for a long time maybe give this a try but i feel like these paired together and especially with the light reflecting foundation over the top i think it's just going to be the perfect dewy perfected skin combo i then picked up a new lip butter from nars after rediscovering my love for orgasm i wanted to try a different shade now this is the shade fast lane and it's quite similar to orgasm but it's just like a little bit more mauvey and a little bit deeper i don't know how well you're going to be able to see it there but it's a really really beautiful not sparkly not shiny lip butter and i just loved the color of this i did swatch it whilst i was um having a little look and I just really loved the fact that it was just like a your lips but better really really perfecting lip balm it's a great one just to keep in your handbag for top ups one thing I will say about these lip butters they don't last you probably noticed yesterday that by the end of the day I had no lipstick on especially if you're eating you're drinking it will come off so it's a great one to be able to chuck in your bag I feel like this is just going to go over the top of like any other kind of lip colors that you're wearing just to give you an extra little bit of hydration moisturizer but also a little bit of color so really really love the look of fast lane I think that's a really beautiful one speaking of orgasm obviously nars have their entire collection of orgasm products absolutely love the lip products but something that i discovered when i was in selfridges yesterday and have never actually seen before thought was a really really clever idea is the orgasm stick i'm not entirely sure what they exactly call this it's just called the multiple stick and this is basically for eyes lips and cheeks and i thought this was so so clever because i really really love being able to pull my entire makeup look in together one of my favorite things to do is use the same bronzer on my eyes so it kind of brings that together but one thing that i know a lot of people do it's quite like a parisian french girl look is to use the same blush on your eyes so you do blush eyes and lips all with the same product and it's basically this just like really dewy blush stick and i really really liked the look of it so obviously you can use it on your lips you can use it on your cheeks you can use it on your eyes i just thought that was so clever especially if you're not looking for like a really overly complicated makeup routine you guys know what i'm like i don't like anything longer than like 10 15 minutes i love being able to utilize products in lots of different ways i feel like being able to get your cost per wear out of product is great so i wanted to give that a try because i thought it would be a great addition i might actually just put a little bit on my cheeks now because i really loved the fact that it was like super subtle you just kind of like blended that in with your fingers and it's like it doesn't feel really heavy with regards to the stick like i have tried some bronzer and blusher sticks in the past and i really didn't like how they almost felt like they took off your foundation underneath like this almost feels like a powder when you actually apply it and when you're rubbing it in but it's obviously not it's in stick form so it's really really clever and i love how just like light and subtle that is so super excited to get using this more and adding it into my everyday makeup lastly from nars is something that i realized i was really missing from my makeup routine particularly when i went away to Rhodes and i was looking for a compact powder to take with me i don't have a compact powder that i absolutely love at the moment and this again is from the light reflecting range this is the light reflecting setting powder it's a pressed powder and again i feel like this is just going to give me the perfect kind of like airbrushed without taking away that glowy look like it really does just kind of 
complete your makeup and hold everything in place together so picked that up as well <laughs> that's actually the sponge but yeah it's just like a white powder i think they do do it in other colors so i'll leave it linked down below but really excited to have added that into my makeup routine so i wasn't joking when i said i went a little bit nuts in itself just beauty i also went a little bit nuts in john lewis picking up some gorgeous new phase a dresses so let me show you what i got because oh my goodness me you're going to love these before I show you the dresses though, let me show you the shoes that I picked up from Phase 8 because I feel like I have been on the hunt for a pair of shoes like this for so long. Do you remember the June ones I saw in John Lewis a couple of weeks ago? They were so gorgeous, there's like raffia mule. Well, I tried them on and oh my goodness, they were designed by someone who hates feet. Like they literally were, they were so uncomfortable and I ended up having to like try two sizes up, usually between a three and a four. I tried the size five and even they were like pinching on my toes. So I completely gave up with those and I have been on the hunt ever since for a gorgeous pair of like heeled raffia sandals. And when I saw these in phase eight, oh my word, I fell in love. I fell in love with this really cute, obviously I tried the ones, they are all undone and everything, but they are just absolutely adorable little kind of like white beigey kind of really light taupey color gorgeous little raffia sandal and oh my word they go with all of the dresses they literally go with all of the dresses that i picked up they are so so perfect for summer they're just like a really really lovely everyday sandal they've got the tiniest little bit of height they're super comfy i'll be able to wear these around london i'll be able to wear these to meetings to garden parties to barbecues i feel like i have found the pair of shoes that is just going to do me for the entirety of summer so let me show you the dresses as well because you guys are going to love these so this first dress i am not going to lie to you guys i've literally been eyeing up for the last couple of weeks i spotted this online a couple of weeks ago but i actually wanted to wait until i could see it in store just so that i could have a better understanding of the sizing because the stripe one that i got whenever i look back at that in photos i wish i'd gone up a size but actually this one the 12 was the perfect fit i did try it on in the changing rooms and oh my goodness me it is such a beautiful dress i feel like this is just the epitome of an ellie dress now with regards to my florals recently i've definitely realized that there's like a particular color palette that i love with my summer florals and that is blue and white i feel like blue and white is almost a neutral like i do actually class blue as a neutral particularly because you've got like blue denim you've got jeans and i feel like it just pairs so beautifully with other neutral colors whites beiges tans blacks like it just pairs so so nicely and white blue and tan is just my favorite color combo for summer so pairing this dress with tan accessories i think is just going to be chef's kiss it's so beautiful in the kind of like silhouette and the cut it's got this really gorgeous puff sleeve detail it's kind of like a three-quarter length sleeve which i've not seen phase eight do for quite a long time so i really really love the three-quarter length sleeves love the fact that it's got this kind of like wrap detail and it's got this really gorgeous skirt with the kind of like contrast detail at the bottom and i know i speak about this a lot but i love it when a skirt has a contrast detail like a tearing kind of detail because i feel like it really helps elongate your body and make you look taller so this is one of those dresses that i have a feeling that i am just going to live in this throughout the summer months oh my goodness me is this not just the most early dress you have ever ever laid your eyes on oh this is just so beautiful like this to me looks so much more expensive than it actually was this looks a dem i'm not even gonna lie this looks a dem and i'm obsessed with it for that i just love the colorway i love the pattern the print and like the design details the thought that has gone into this dress is just phenomenal i love the hem detail i feel like this contrast hem just works so so well really pulls the eye up elongates your body it makes you look so much taller and and the wrap detail is beautiful i love the way that it sits on your waist it just kind of like pulls you in and so so flattering i love the three-quarter length sleeves as well i feel like it makes it a perfect dress for hosting so if you are going to have some people round your arms are free but it's like covered do you know what i mean i really really like that and because it is a wrap as well i didn't actually realize but it does have like a cheeky little leg slit if you want to have a little bit of a cheeky moment if not it does sit so so beautifully just as is this is one of those dresses that i just no, I'm going to live in it throughout the summer months. It's so pretty, so elegant, and so beautiful. Oh, 
I can't stop gushing about it. Now this next dress I saw and I just fell in love with. And one thing that I love that Phase 8 does is if something works, they'll bring it out in lots of different variations and colorways. And this pattern is clearly a pattern that they are loving at the moment because they also had it in a skirt and trousers, I believe, and a few different materials as well. This is more of like a really gorgeous lightweight linen, but they also had it in like a jersey fabric, a jersey material, and a few others. And I just fell in love with this dress. I feel like this is just the perfect holiday dress it's linen it's loose it's beautiful it's like fitted yeah le like smock oh my goodness me i feel like i'm just gushing over this dress but it's just so so lovely i love the piping detail around the neckline i feel like it makes it look so much more expensive than it actually is and the piping also continues on the sleeves and then you've actually just got a little bit more of that kind of like pattern and like detailing running it through the skirt which i really like the fact that they've kept the top part a little bit plainer now this is the kind of dress that i feel like if you wanted to you could definitely belt it you could definitely create more of like a silhouette but i think i'm gonna leave it smock i really really liked how it looked and i feel like paired with the right accessories it is just so so beautiful so this is one of those dresses that i think again i'm gonna live in in summer during heat waves in the uk if i'm away on holiday this dress is just beautiful another absolutely beautiful dress i love how this sits on my body as i said you could definitely cinch it in you could pull in the waist like add a cute little raffia belt but i actually love it smock i think it's just so flattering i love the way that it just kind of like just flows down your body i feel like it really helps that it's got this square neckline i feel like that really helps give it a bit more like structure and elegance the piping around the neckline as well is just beautiful and on the sleeves and i love the pattern it's like very almost like hawaiian as the kind of like mimosa flower i really really like it a bit of a coral reef type design and paired with the little sandals i love the way that it pairs the entire look together because it kind of like brings in those more like neutral tones and makes it a little bit less like stark and black so yeah could definitely do a couple of different styles with this but i just think it's such a gorgeous dress and it wouldn't be an Ellie Hall without a little white dress. I could not resist this one when I saw it. I feel like there's just so many design details that I absolutely love in my summer dresses. I love the material, actually. It's a little bit of like a thicker linen cotton blend, which I really, really like. Love the fact that it's got this kind of like sweetheart square neckline. It's got puff sleeves and the little buttons running down it. I feel like this is just the kind of dress that I just love living in. In summer, super comfortable, super chic, very like paired back yet elevated oh i just love it i mean how me is this dress the kind of like milkmaid style the button down detailing the square neckline and the white cotton fabric i am just so so in love with this again it's got this tearing detail to the skirt which really helps elongate your body and pull the eye up i feel like phase eight have just thought of everything with their summer dresses like all of the design details are so well thought through and well executed and i'm so so in love with them and whilst we're here trying on dresses i thought i would just show you the off the shoulder number again just remind you what it looks like because it's just so gorgeous i love the fact that it's like body but not like fully body con it's like a little bit loose it just sits so nicely on your hips and on your waist and i love the fact that it's got the off the shoulder detail it's such a stunning dress so perfect for like evenings when you're away on holiday it's just absolutely stunning i feel like this summer for me has really been the summer of just kind of like refining my style and working out what i love in terms of colorways in terms of patterns in terms of prints i definitely think blue and white is just the color con combo for me i just absolutely love it and i definitely think a lot of my blue and white pieces from like years gone by have been the pieces that have lasted the longest in my wardrobe so really really happy with the new in items speaking of blue and white i am loving it so much i literally have even gone for a little blue and white stack with regards to my pandora jewelry which i don't know how you're going to be able to see it but these are the um the wishbone rings my goodness me focused go. Yeah, so we've got march and june here march is my dad's birthday and june is my birthday and I love how they look especially with this dress I feel like oh, just ties the entire look in together so yeah absolutely loving that as a collar combo so you can definitely expect to see more of that from me with regards to my hauls and over on my Instagram but I think I'm gonna leave this vlog 
here i feel like it's been a lot of chat it was so fun taking you guys with me into london and going shopping together i always love taking you with me whenever i'm going shopping even if i'm like not chatting to camera there was a lot of music playing so i wasn't quite able to like talk you through the pieces that i was seeing but they had so many gorgeous bits in like zara had so many beautiful pieces like some really gorgeous colorful pattern prints if you are a little bit more colorful this summer but also some really classic items they had a few items that like i picked up a few weeks ago as well like the haul that i did before i went to rose the really gorgeous like crisscross over tops absolutely loved those and i need your help with deciding whether i should pick up those gorgeous trousers i think i may have convinced myself to because i do think i'll get more wear out of the black and white ones than i do my green ones so that may have been me just convincing myself there but let me know comment down below and if you got to the end of this video i feel like we've not done this in quite a long time but if you got to the end of the video leave me blue and white down below in your comment or the blue and white heart emoji regardless of what you can do with its emojis or words leave blue and white down below in your comments so it's love knowing who gets to the end of my videos but i hope you guys have the loveliest evening and i will see you in my next one bye